Alright guys, Simon here. So we are in Minecraft and we are finishing off this thing. So what we need, we need like a beach. We need a bit of a dock there. There's a there's this boat. We need a bit of a dock there. Let's pave this basically. A beach. And then I might just mark out the island with some torches. And then we need to create a rather simple, I guess sand or gravel path out to a monument construction site out there. I think what I'll do is for the monument construction site, I just dig down to the rock. So I dig the dirt away and dig down to the rock. And then people can put in whatever they want. The idea is that you don't want to just keep it as, as grass. You want to change it somehow. You want to keep it as rock, you can. But you know, working with the land as well as just the building. Because I'm building foundations here. A lot of people don't do that, a lot of people just kind of put their houses on the ground and they don't actually prepare the ground around it. It's one of those things that I guess it's a fairly common uh, omission. Alright, what a, well, let's do the easy stuff. Let's put torches around the island just so that during night time you can see this fairly easily. So let's just go around and put torches here and there. So Minecraft Realms just became available in my country, New Zealand. I don't know how many of you guys would be interested if I like set up a, a Minecraft Realms server if you want to join and build stuff together. But um, we have to choose the right people because there's apparently no griefing protection, there's no theft protection. There's rollbacks and that's about it. So there will only be people that I can trust not to ever steal or to ever grief because there's there's no way to um, prevent that. I don't know if they... I mean if, if I can... It'd be nice if you can just kind of have observers only so you can like, have people come in and not be able to touch anything and then you can choose like who can, who can build stuff and who can use anything and who can actually build and who cannot build. Uh, maybe I'll make it a creative server, in which case theft is not a problem, but griefing still is. I think I know some of you guys well enough. The problem is it will only be people I can trust, and therefore not everybody can join. And anyway, there's only a, there's like a 20 person limit on the, on the realm server anyway, and 10 people simultaneously. So it's not like I can invite a whole lot of people. There's a land bridge here that I did not know about. Alright, I'm going to remove this. Actually, it's not really a... Let's just remove this. This particular tree. And we'll... make that water there. Alright, that's, that's probably a little bit better, and that those leaves should disappear soon enough. But there you go. So that wasn't really a land bridge, but I think a clearer boundary would be good. So the idea... So anyway, any comments about Minecraft Realms? If you want, whether you want to join, whether you trust people enough to uh, join a server with no griefing protection. Anyway, so this part is you're building a a park here, and there's kind of this kind of park design theory that I will talk about. Ooh, wait a minute, that's not good. Well, there's a hole in the ground. I uh, you can decide what to do about that. I think I don't want to. I don't know if I want to change this. There is a cave here. Well, it's just a it's just a hole in the ground. There's not actually caves, are there? No. All right. Well, there's a hole in the ground. There's the I guess the the main ideas is there's the uh, the formal garden where everything is geometry and lines and. And things, and then there's the natural, naturalistic garden. In terms of garden design theory, 
So um, either you make it look like a bit of nature, but not really. So kind of subtle design, so you you try to conceal the fact that the garden has been designed, even though it has been very carefully designed. And then the other one is just geometric, so everything is just very clearly designed. And uh, it makes geometric shapes. And uh, it's not necessarily that one is better than the other, it's just different approaches. So we go time set night. Alright, so now there's torches around it. Doesn't make too much difference, but... Build a park on the island. Yes, I, I, I guess I will have to talk about park design theory before any of this makes sense to you guys. Although, if you're into parks, maybe you already know some, some of these things. So you, well, I guess I'll talk about what, what are some, some of the most famous parks in the world. I guess um, Central Park in New York is pretty famous. And uh, I can talk about other things too. Like some of the uh, French chateaus will have quite extensive landscaping and the palaces and whatnot. Usually people who can afford a lot of land in the past, which would be the kings and the uh, nobility and whatnot. Nobody else can really afford a lot of land. Alright, let's put a beach in here. So there's no exercise involved with the beach. It's just a beach with sand. But uh, probably a little bit nicer than having grass right up to the edge of the water. So let me just put this stuff in. And think about... What kind of shape I want this to be. So the... The, uh, the harbour starts here. So let me just put a bit more sand in. How big should the sand be? I guess about that much sand. And then it can like go all the way to the road. Or should I leave? I think I might leave a bit of grass along the edge of the row. Let's do this. Let's have this up here. Grass. Like that. Like that. And then the sand down here. I guess if I had like a Minecraft Realms thing, I will set up a forum and people would be expected to participate in the forum and discuss things. And it'll probably turn into some sort of advanced course in city planning and civic governance, as in you're gonna have to learn how to coexist with other people and build a city. Which might be fascinating for some of you. So consider that too, I'm not just going to let you build anything you like. You are going to have to uh, work with other people to build a shared city if you join my server. So let me just put that out there. And I'll be the governor, I'll be the boss. And I will decide things. Although if you've played any sort of thing with me before. You know I'm pretty democratic about things. About most of things. Not everything. Some things are not negotiable. But most things are. So maybe consider that and whether you want to do that. And whether you are aware of it or not, you will learn about civics. 
how many of you actually even know what civics means? <laughs> what does it mean, civics? It means, I mean, civic means it's, it means living in a city. I guess more appropriately, it means people managing a city, or people kind of coming together to manage a city, is civics. And it's not a it's not a trivial thing. It's actually kind of complicated. Mostly it's politics. Although things might be more pleasant if people don't let politics get out of control, but it happens sometimes. All right, let's do that. It's a bit straight there, isn't it? A bit too straight. Still a bit weird. I'm trying to make it like a convincing beach. But it's not really working very well. I guess it's good enough. Alright, let's put a bit more sand around here. Like that. Probably this can be sand too. Um, maybe not this block. I'm just gonna push this back a bit more. Also, the thing would cost about I think what thirteen dollars. I don't know if that's US dollars or New Zealand dollars. Probably New Zealand dollars. Thirteen is dollars a month, so if anybody would like to contribute financially, <laughs> then that would definitely make it more likely to happen. So if you know ten people pitch in ten bucks each, then uh, that, that's pretty much the whole thing, and I don't have to actually subsidize the thing that much myself. So where do you want to play on a Minecraft multi-server with me? whether you're willing to do it my way, which is to say build cities, um, whether you are whether you are you really have enough self-control to never steal and never grief and whether or not you are willing to contribute financially, I guess. The financial part is not that important to me. But if you are, that's it's a bonus. Let's say that. Just fill this if there's a hole in the ground. I'm not too happy about that. Alright, now there's less of a hole in the ground. Is better. Actually, there's still a bit of a hole here. Let me just fill that in. Or maybe, you know, instead of me telling you what I want to do, like if I like set up a Minecraft Realms server, how would you want it to be? Like, what do you want it to be like? What kind of thing would you want to want to do in it? What do you think we should do if I set it up? Maybe that's a better idea. Like, what do you want out of a a server? If it's only people you can trust, not public, only people you can trust, only people I can trust, what would you do? What kind of things would you want to see? Maybe that's better. I guess for me, the, the idea is that you're going to have to negotiate. I don't know if I said that already, I think I did. But you have to negotiate with other people and you have to communicate with other people. Like if you want to build something, you have to tell other people beforehand. Just to make sure that you know everybody else is okay with it. It seems like a lot of hassle. It seems like, hey, why do I have to ask for permission? Because you're a multiplayer, alright? If you're a multiplayer, you have to ask for permission. Because you're with other people, it's not just you. If you, want to, if you don't want to ask for permission, then play single player. That's my attitude, right? If you don't want to deal with other people, then don't deal with other people, just play single player. 
but if you're playing multiplayer, then you have to deal with other people and you have to work with other people. So that's what I would say. Like some people go onto a a legit multiplayer server and then start cheating. Like why on earth would you do that? Just play single player creative or go on a server where they accept, you know, using cheats. Why would you join a server who clearly does not want that kind of stuff? And then you do that. Like why would you do that? Why would you go somewhere and do something that nobody likes? It's just being annoying for no good reason, right? I don't know, some people do that. Like they play a game and they use cheats and they think that it means something somehow. It doesn't mean anything. It's just wasting people's time. I mean, like the thing is, the games... Games are about rules. Imagine you're, like, you're playing chess. I, I hope you know how to play chess. You might not. Anyway, so chess, you have pieces, chess pieces, and you move those pieces around, and you there, there are rules. Like there are rules for winning the game. There are, there are rules for losing the game. And, and if you don't follow those rules, and you just move the chess pieces around randomly, you're not playing chess. <laughs> you're just moving pieces around. You know what I mean? Like it's not. Without the rules, there's really no point to the game. I mean, you can make up a different set of rules and then play a different game, which is not chess, but a different game. And you can do that and use the same pieces, use the same board and follow different rules. Then it's a different game. Like maybe you you make, you make play checkers instead of chess. Or what do you, what do you call it? Checkers or drafts? But anyway, so you can, you can choose to do that if you want. Nobody's saying you can't. But then you're not playing chess anymore. That's all. But if you don't actually have any rules at all, then you're not playing checkers, you're not playing chess, you're just moving pieces around randomly. That's not a game, right? It's not, without this, if you don't if you don't have rules, you don't have a game. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's not to say that like, I mean, if you don't want to follow rules, then fine, then don't play the game. Then you don't have a game to play. You can't want to play games, but then don't want to follow rules. That doesn't actually make sense. There's actually no logic to that at all. Because games are defined by their rules, literally defined by their rules. So if you kind of go into a chess tournament and just start moving pieces around randomly, you're not doing what you what people are there to do, like you're not doing what everyone else is there to do and you're just kind of wasting people's time basically, is what you're doing if you do that. Um, this is a bit tight, isn't it? How should I do this? What I might do is just raise this up. Raise this up. Until we get further along. And then I'll lower it. Let's do that. It's pretty ugly, isn't it? Just a bit of cobble here. And rules, I mean, what are rules? Rules are just things that you agree with other people, right? I mean, you, you agree to move the chess pieces in a certain way. Like, it was like, nobody's forcing you to agree with the rules, but if you don't agree with the rules, then you can't play the game, because there's no game without the rules. Nobody's forcing you to play the game, but if you want to play the game, you have to follow the rules. I mean, imagine you're playing soccer or or baseball or basketball. I mean, there are, there are rules, right? I mean, there's only they only exist because there are rules. If you're just chucking balls around, or if you if you're playing soccer and you grab the ball by with your hands, and you're not the goalkeeper, then you're not playing the game. You're just wasting people's time. I think I should save this as well.
and you know, whenever kind of whenever you have a community, whenever you have people living together, you're gonna have rules. Unfortunately, like this, it's pretty much unavoidable that there will be rules. Things that you can't steal from other people. Things like you can't murder other people. That's pretty common. Usually, you can't go around murdering people. And you know, there are rules wherever there are people and communities, wherever you have to be with other people, you end up having rules. Because that's that's how people can coexist. Otherwise, people can't coexist. I think what I will do is... This and then and then step up. Uh, no. And then it's still a bit odd. It's still a bit odd. What if I cut this back a little bit? And extend this a bit more. Alright. So we've got that. I might actually widen this a bit more here. 